How's it everyone? Grant here and welcome back to another camera comparison video. This time it's between the HTC U Ultra and the HTC 10. I recently tested the cameras on the HTC U Ultra and came away fairly impressed. The last time I tried the HTC 10, the cameras honestly underwhelmed me a little bit and so I wanted to kind of bring it out after all the updates and put it up against its bigger brother here, the U Ultra. So this is obviously footage from the front facing camera and I apologize if my eye doesn't look so good but I did want to shoot this video in some good light and the weather's not supposed to be too good in the next coming days. So I did want to get some footage shot in some sunshine here. It is the afternoon, so we'll put the camera back up into some of the harsh lighting back there so you can kind of see how it handles some of the exposure and some tougher light. And we'll move the camera around so you can see how it handles some of that panning. And like you saw, we're in front of a fountain so you can see how these cameras each handle background audio there. And I'll do a little bit of walking so you can see how these cameras look and how they handle any kind of stabilization. They are both mounted to the same mount, so that provides a bit of stabilization there. But everything is equal here, so you can kind of see how the picture might look, how shaky it is as I walk around. But I did want to give you a quick sample footage from the front facing camera on both these cameras. And like we always do in our videos, I'll be posting up photos and videos from both the front and rear facing cameras in both good light and low light. So you can see how each of these cameras are performing overall. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. And here we are with the rear facing cameras on the HEC 10 and HEC U Ultra. It's a little bit of an overcast afternoon, but it's still fairly sunny, so I think this should still be a good test here. We tested it out against the sky and some of the greenery. I've been enjoying the second go around with the HTC 10 and testing out its cameras here. The U Ultra, I've tested before and I like it a lot. So I thought it'd be a good go to put them head to head here. Let's see how the HTC 10 fares here in 2017 against HTC's current flagship, the U Ultra. And so the Ultra has those four microphones, and as you can see, it's a fairly breezy afternoon. I'm also next to a fairly busy street, so we can see how the audio compares from the 10 to the Ultra. And we'll do some little bit of stabilization, so I'll start walking here. This is being shot in 1080p, 30 frames per second. So you can see how the stabilization holds up on each. We'll turn around and check out some of the flowers here. A little bit of a focus test so we can see how it focuses as we're getting closer. We'll back it out. Do one last pan around here for you. So again that's the rear facing cameras on the HTC 10 and HTC U Ultra. And so here we can do a quick focus test between the HTC 10 and U Ultra. So we'll move in onto the snail here. And you can see the U Ultra locks in focus immediately while the 10 is still not quite there and it's not really focusing in. So we'll move away again, we'll pan back, and this time the HTC 10, 10 got the focus, so, but the U Ultra is still locked in immediately, so the 10 is a little more finicky on locking focus, then the U Ultra, the 10 will eventually get there it seems, but the U Ultra just seems to be a little bit faster and I think that's due to that phase detection being on the U Ultra and not on the HTC 10, so. And this is the same experience I had before with the HTC 10, where getting in tight on a subject for macro shots, the focus would be a little bit finicky, and you can still see it trying to peek in and out there. And it finally got it, so focus is definitely more finicky on the HTC 10 still, and the Ultra is fast as ever. <laughs>
the HTC U Ultra and HTC 10 in low light from the front facing camera. So I'll pan around here and aim up at the light so you can see how it handles some of the bright lights. I don't see any real lens flaring there. And the picture quality looks pretty decent here considering it's very dark right now. It's late at night. The only lighting that we have as you can see here are the street lights behind me. And it seems to be really handling that those bright lights pretty well. Not too much lens flaring. A little bit more from the U Ultra actually. More than the 10. As far as you can see in the viewfinder, the U Ultra looks a little bit brighter versus the HTC 10. It's a little bit darker, but it's also still fairly true to life. It's fairly dark, and the lights do give off this yellow orange tint to it, so it's not going to be a clear white light. And we'll pan around a little bit like we normally do. This is show you how it handles some of the panning at night, because especially in low light, some cameras can you can see some tearing in the photos and some drop of some frame rates, but it doesn't appear so here, at least not in the viewfinder. And we'll go ahead and do some stabilization and walk around a little bit. So you kind of see how they do as far as stabilization is concerned from the front and front and front facing camera. Even though these two are on a camera mount, I'll disclose that. But overall, it's looking pretty good. Not too much distortion. Fairly decent stabilization given that they are on a mount. And I just want to give you a quick sample here of the front facing camera in low light from both the HTC 10 and the U Ultra. And here we are with some rear facing footage from the U Ultra and HTC 10. This is obviously in low light, late at night. We'll point the cameras up at that bright light. There's a little bit of lens flare that I can see coming off of the HTC 10. And they both look pretty good in the viewfinder. Again, these lights do give off that yellowish orange tint, so it's not going to be a pure white light. And it is very dark. It's about 10 p.m. at night here. And again, the only lights that we have are those street lights, so both cameras appear to be doing fairly good. And again, we have our fountain here so we can test how it handles some of that background noise. We can do some basic stabilization here. I'll do some walking. This is being shot at 1080p, 30 frames per second, and they both are on the camera mount. But still, it should give you an idea of kind of how it can handle some basic stabilization if you chose to move around with it. Do a little last minute panning and a little bit more walking here. Just to give you a better idea of the video and audio quality coming out of each camera. So, there you go. A quick low light sample from the HEC 10 and U Ultra.